So, Matt here from Fab. Got a little uh, update video on the S14 drift build for you. All right, so this is uh, <coughs> this is basically getting picked up in about an hour. Um, all my work is pretty much finished on it now. Well, it is finished. So um, yeah, next step for this is uh, prep and paint. But since the last video, I've basically um, made all this front end. So yeah, we've got our uh, removable bash bar, which is connects uh, straight onto the end of the, just plated off the end of the original chassis rails. This is all in good condition, so no point chopping any of that off. And then captive nuts welded on the back of there, so it just bolts straight in. Um, this is uh, this is made from welded tube, two mil wall, so it's. It'll take a little bit of an impact, but it's gonna um, it's gonna basically break before, it. and you know it goes back into any of this. You want you want this to take a bit of an impact, but not not push back and damage anything behind it. So um, the UK regs basically say this should be made from 25 mil tube, but I think that's just so small that it's not really going to absorb any impact. I think that's a kind of somewhere in the middle. Yeah, I'm strong enough to do what it needs to do, but will break. And then I've basically made this support piece here, which um, <clears throat> supports the headlights, uh, and that's the bolts for the intercooler and it all just sort of comes out and then the headlights just bolt in like that so it's all one piece and then the intercooler is really nicely tucked I basically it's like a universal intercooler uh, so I just fitted it upside down so there's just some mounts underneath there and uh, yeah, the ducting can come, um, it could either come underneath there and have a hole in here straight up to the intercooler or turbo and it'll be quite short piping there and also it, it's really well protected sort of up in there out of the way and it's like the ducting of the front bumper is straight into the intercooler so uh, yeah, that was perfect fit, that intercooler. I'm not sure what uh, model it is or anything, but I'll try and I'll find out if uh, anyone wants to use the same one. Got some tabs for the wing mounts. All the wings nice and solid. Um, bonnet pins. And yeah, it's all just, it's all just nice and simple. Not too much going on, and uh, makes it easier to work on. And um, and then on the inside, basically finish the cage off, um, 
Men ja. So I got the OBP bias pedal box mounted, so I had to reinforce the floor under here to bolt this in to stop any um, flex or anything and then the cylinders sit underneath here so you have to make some sort of cover to uh, cover the cylinders so I made this out of a uh, just made out of alley and then got your sort of hole at the back there for your cables to come through and another one in there so that turned out pretty nice finished off the column mount in there um, What else? Got the harness bar sat in there. Um, got the over fenders um, basically just held on with a couple of rivets. And um, these need kind of trimming to make them fit a little bit better, but isn't you know I'm not our new owns it's going to do all that um, and then in the back oh yeah I've got the uh, so mounted the radiator so basically put some plate at the back of this piece that the um, post box window is going to rivet to and then just welded some tabs on the And then just welded some tabs on the radiator and um, she just bolts in. Um, and then on the inside here, the um, whoa. so that piece there is connected to the over fender and then there's a another return lip on the bottom of the um, rear bumper and then the that obviously just tying it all in it's all bolted at the minute but you can I had cable ties in there originally and it's pretty uh, pretty tight so I would imagine when he's um, when he's on the track he'll probably have that cable tied just in case but it's uh, so yeah it's like super solid here yeah it's but you know it's like no movement here super solid but at the back you've got at the back you've got some sort of side to side movement so it can slide about um, same on that side obviously So it's, yeah, so it's basically like, kind of looks like this is all connected into the back piece of steel here, but it's not. That, that this, this piece rivets onto this piece and they're all separate. So it all comes apart still, but it just makes it all really strong in that corner instead of it all flopping around. So that worked out pretty good. I think that is uh, pretty much it for the update on this thing. Obviously there's still a massive mountain of work to do, uh, but not for me. All the fab work's done. Next time you see it, uh, hopefully it'll be in paint. I'll see if I can arrange to go down once it's painted and um, get some video of it on it. So, uh, all shiny, it's always nice to see your work like with a bit of paint on it. That's it for this vid, thanks for watching.
See you on the next one.